We told you last night that Columbus police will now have access to Narcan. That's the medicine that can actually save someone from overdosing on heroin. Well, tonight, my exclusive report on how you might be able to get that life-saving drug, too. And it's all thanks to a local mother who's been working to spare other families from losing someone they love. You build a card around it, and then the cards maybe have a message for you. Justin He's Phillips' message has been heard loud and clear. Deaths caused by heroin overdoses don't have to happen. I hoped this day would come. I didn't think it would come this quick. I thought it was going to take us a couple years at least. Just a few months after Justin's tireless effort to get the life-saving heroin antidote Narcan into the hands of EMTs, the state legislature will consider a new bill that expands its reach. State Senator Jim Merritt is the sponsor. It would allow a citizen to go into a physician's office, get a prescription to allow that citizen to administer uh, Narcan to one of their family members or one of their neighbors in the in the case of an overdose from heroin. Merritt is Justin's neighbor. You just think about all the families who have survived uh, an almost suicide with heroin that that you want to help them somehow. And this legislative move is very personal for a mother who lost her own son to a heroin overdose. It's not about telling your kid it's okay to use it's about telling your kid you want to save their life. In 2013, there were 110 heroin overdoses in Indianapolis alone. By mid-June 2014, there were over 60 deaths. Supporters say if their loved ones had access to Narcan, maybe they wouldn't be a statistic. People make mistakes. And and the mistake shouldn't be your final one. While the cost of Narcan has risen, Justin's new fight will be to make sure that families can afford the drug. But first, she's praying that the state legislature will pass Aaron's law, named in honor of her son. It would be such an honor. What would that mean to you? Uh, like, you know, it would just allow Aaron to, to con still continue to make a difference. And that's kind of who he was, despite his, you know, difficult choices that he made. He was such always a champion. So his legacy will live on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be like amazing. And our thanks to Justin for sharing her story. Now, 28 states have passed laws allowing citizens to have access to Narcan. Senator Merritt plans to file the Indiana bill this week, followed by a committee hearing. We'll keep you updated. And to learn more about Narcan, just go to our website and click on Hot Topics at WTHR.com.